Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, yes, welcome back to Revit 2016. Um, apologies, I've been uh, pretty busy the last few days, so it's been um, a whole six days uh, since I've uh, done a video, so um, time to get back on track. Um, incidentally, the, the reason for the um, uh, delay or the gap is um, just currently operating by myself as a building designer in uh, Melbourne. Um, so yes, last week was my first full week uh, looking after my own business, and uh, yeah, so as you can imagine, it's just a few little things needed to um, get done and took priority. But anyway, we're back here and uh, time to get cracking. Right here. So what I want to do in this uh, video is to um, place some basic um, kitchen elements into our um, kitchen area so um, and what Rev does is Rev calls this casework um, I'm guessing that's a North American or maybe a North uh, Northern Hemisphere term uh, down in uh, good old Australia here in New Zealand would typically call it kitchen joinery um, but this is Revit uh, I do still need to um, stick the terminology that we're given to in the um, defaults. Okay, so the first thing we really need to do f before we um, can uh, add anything to the kitchen and start fitting it out is to load some elements in there. Okay, so um, we've got to go, okay, in our ribbon, we've got to find our insert tab there and load family. So we're going to go into the library. Okay, so in the library again, this, remember this is the, the default. Okay, and we have a folder here by default called, uh, or out of the box, it's called casework. Okay, um, and this is why I call it casework in, um, in Australia. We would probably tend to call it joinery. Exactly the same stuff. So I'm just going to double click on the casework um, thing there and we've got uh, four folders in here um, just remember individual countries have different types and uh, styles of um, library and folder arrangements so um, just bear with me and uh, you might have to do a little bit of looking but let's just say we've um, okay let's go to the base cabinets here and um, so this, and this is the list. So we've got you know we've got a base cabinet with one door. There you go. There's a little preview there on the right hand side. And base cabinet, two door, four drawer, a corner cupboard. So you know, pot drawer. It's all this really nice stuff. So uh, what's two bin? Okay. So you just gotta watch out. There are some that will change. So see here these ones here. AUS. These are for the Australian sort of um, version of Revit. Anything here without. AUS is going to be a slightly different family. So, but for argument's sake, let's say I'm just going to go grab the one door, two door. I'm just holding the control key down, doing a multi select. Okay, and I'm just going to, I'm going to grab all of those elements that have AUS on it, and I'm going to open. Okay, Revit's going to think about it. It's now loaded into the um, project. Okay, now these are the base ones, and this is what we'll focus on for this particular um, project. Um, there are other elements that we can look at. We may do that later on. Okay, so um, how do we get these elements into the um, into the project? Okay, so we go architecture here. Okay, so it's from the architecture, and what we're going to do is we're going to do place a component. Okay, so we have. Um, if I go here, this little drop this component. If I go uh, drop down, so we have the model in place. We don't want to do that. We just want to place a component. So I click, left click on there. Okay, drop down arrow again. So these are all the elements that we've downloaded and all the components that are available to be placed in the kitchen. Okay, so um, so all we really need to do now is just basically build up a bit of the kitchen. So I'm going to start with a corner cabinet. Okay, so what it does is it tracks to, uh, you know, the left hand, the corner to the cursor. So now I can just go in there and snap. Okay, 
Now here's a nifty little trick. Let's see if I can get this to work. One. So if I take the space bar. Two. Three. There we go. I get another corner cabinet over there. I'll just place that there for now. Okay, so I've got a couple of corner cabinets. CM for component. Okay. Um, I'll add a base cabinet two door um, in between there. So we might have something, you know, there might be a, um, a sink or something like that there, but um, things. Now, the beauty of these ones here is if, th if this was in the exactly the right place, okay, now if I've introduced a, a cabinet here that I, you know, I like, but I want to resize it, we can. We get these little push-pull arrows. So all I need to do is if I want to resize that cabinet, I can just go left-click, hold and drag. There we go. Righty-ho. We'll go back into component. Um, uh, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Okay, we'll four draw. Again, just use my space key to to do some rotation there, and I might drag that out a little bit more, make it a bit bigger. So that's my uh, four draw there. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm designing on the fly, so um, pot draw. Again, pot drawer is probably a little bit bigger than that. I'm just going to try something here. Well, uh, no. What I was looking to do and see whether if, if I pull this arrow here, whether it would auto snap to this one here, but it didn't want to. So, okay. So pot drawer, four drawers there. Um, what else? Um, Gotta leave a gap in here because I would need to place an oven at some stage. Um, I might just put another two door cabinet there. Okay, so I've got an oven there. Probably have a fridge cavity in here. And probably another one down here just to sort of finish it off. Um, what shall I do? What shall I do? Oh, I'm much, oh, wrong one. I might just put in some more four drawers. Okay. Can never have too, never have too many drawers. There we go. So you pull it down, and we're getting that nice big snap there. So, so some of these sizes are probably goddamn awful. Oh, excuse my French, but um. Yeah, it's it's not so much about accuracy. This is about showing you how, you know, the general process would work. Okay. Okay. So we've got a fridge in here that we can get later on. We've got an oven in here that we can get later on. Um, and that's the bones of it. So um, we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Um, there is upper cupboard. You know, there are upper cabinets as well, and all this sort of stuff. But we really probably need to import some other elements before we do anything else. Okay, so um, we'll see you later, and um, as I said, we'll do the next um, video, hopefully shortly. We'll see how the business goes. See you later.